What's up everybody? Today I have a win for you. One of the very last wins that I actually paid money for on Tereva. That wasn't just a free play win. If Tereva wants my money back, they're definitely going to have to fix that shipping issue. But this figure is one of the rare ones. It's a Dragon Ball figure. And you know it's one of the rare ones because Tereva charges more money for it. I think it's like $2.50 a play where every other figure is usually like 2 bucks. So let's take a look at the plays for this figure now. Thank you for watching. Hey, Mataria, Goku slash Dragon Ball Kamehameha. God bless all you guys with your words and your figures. I don't know what any of that means. I'm just trying to fill up the eBay store and make some videos for you guys. Get really good at this prize redemption stuff. We got another figure here in the sticky bars. Looks like it's ready to go. Looks like someone just left it here and I came into the room like this. It's hanging on that front corner so I'm going to go back edge and try to lift it up. Let's see what happens. Basically dead center on the prize, and I didn't go back far enough. That's not it. I gotta go further back towards that back bar, because if I go any further towards the camera, the box is actually lower than the bars, so the catcher shovels won't go down that far, and it won't get a lift of the box. There we go. That looks like I went far enough back and a little bit of a shake. Not too good though, not great, but definitely some movement. I know this is a tough figure, I know this is a tight setup, and I know this is a prize that's highly sought after. I gotta get it here. Let's see. That looks dead center as well. Basically gonna go with the same technique. Just go for the back edge and get a little bit of a lift on that left side. It's really not getting any of a lift on the right side. It's not getting under. It's stabbing. It's actually stabbing the bar. So. I'm happy with anything. I'm happy with something getting underneath it because it's really low. It's in the position where it needs to be won. It's just a tight setup like I'm saying. The workers set the height that the catcher will drop and they only drop it about as far as the bars. About as low as those sticky bars in the play field, that's as low as the shovels are going to go. No more. So let's see. I got to go for the highest point of the box and the highest point is in the back. On the back bar, the box is still resting on top of it so that's the point I have to go for. On the front edge where the box is hitting that front bar, you just can't get the shovels that low. It just won't happen. They set the game like that. But now I'm getting that dip. Check it out. The right corner of that box is below the bar now. So progress is being made, I just have to go with the same technique, or in the end I'm going to end up having to switch up the technique to get the prize into the shoot. But we're going to go here, stab the bar on the right. Okay, it's getting less and less progress because it's just getting to the point where it's too low. It's lower than the bars, every side really but that left back corner. So here we go again, try to get that little bit of a lift, a little bit of a pull on that left side, and it'll dip the right front corner in. There it is. Wow, it hit it on the way down. Okay, it's missing it on the rise. So that tells me it might need a stab at some point. I am going to go one or two more for that back edge. It's working. Look at how much the front of the box is dipping below the bar now. Where in the beginning when I started the play, there wasn't any part of the box below the bar. Here we go. Back edge. Left claw. There it is. I didn't go as far back. It's getting that turn. Oh my goodness. It's only pivoted on the very front corner, left side, and the back corner on the right. And that's the only thing holding this box, guys. Let's switch it up. Let's go for the front. Maybe all it needs is a little bit of a movement from that front side. And let's see if I can get it here. Nope. It will not get underneath the box, I'm telling you. The box is below that bar. It's well below the bar to the point where the shovels just can't get underneath it. So let's do something drastic. Let's stab the top edge. This is borderline panic play and not really knowing what to do. After 10 tries, didn't really want to spend any more money. So I go for the stab and it's in. Beautiful move. Left claw stab completely changed up the technique and it worked. Got the G mat. G Mataria, G Matria, G Unit, whatever it's called. The got the Goku figure into the prize shoot with that left claw stab is so beautiful. That was the last prize that I actually paid money for on Tereba. And it's going to stay that way until Tereba fixes their shipping issues. Pretty good win, but honestly it was just outside of the budget. I know it was 10 plays exactly, but it was $2.50 a play, and that's going to break down to about 25 25 is really the maximum that I'm going to be able to sell it in the eBay store for, so I don't like to spend anything over that. This prize is borderline, but I figured if I could get it into the prize shoot under 25 and then sell it for the 25 it'd be worth at least the footage that you're watching now. No news on the Tereba shipping update, and the eBay's definitely slowed down too, so the videos are going to slow down as well, guys. If you want to see more of these videos and help support the channel by buying some of the prizes, check in the description for the link to the eBay. If you enjoyed this one, give it a like and a comment. If you haven't done it already, subscribe to the channel, have a wonderful day, and be well. Peace.